Collegiate sports will take on a whole new look for the 2021-2022 school year as for the first time, student athletes will be able to profit off of their name, image, and likeness. A change that is welcomed by many student athletes. They are eventually going pro, so they're just missing out on time when they could be making money and benefiting themselves and their families. I didn't think they were going to change it, honestly, but I think they only changed it because more basketball players are like shying away from the NCAA because they could just go straight to the league and get endorsement like like that. With the door being open, agents, lawyers, and accountants have all been added to the world of collegiate sports. Denzel Harper, a jumper on the Troy University track team, has already signed a deal with the brand. So my friend that runs the biggest underdog, I personally know him and I DM'd him. I was like, hey, do you need some more like brand ambassadors? Because I saw he was only getting football players. So I've been like targeting, targeting, I, I want to target brands that don't have track. Since the NCAA's announcement, several collegiate football and basketball athletes have already announced deals with brands. Emily Charon, a member of the Virginia Commonwealth University women's soccer team, just hopes brands stay fair to all sports. I feel like it's not so much that I have an issue with them making more money because I know that they're being watched more. It's just more that like other sports should be getting the exposure. And this goes beyond just like college athletes. Like, um, there's been more people watching like the WNBA recently. And I think that that's a great, but it's like, it's still not enough. And so it's more about getting more exposure. So maybe even now that girls and everyone can get name, image, and likeness, like paid for by them and they can get sponsorships, like maybe even that'll benefit them, like in kind of a reverse way, because then they'll get their name out more and people will be like, oh, who's that? And then they'll want to pay attention. Harper also believes that brands could come up with more creative ways for endorsing collegiate athletes. We are sponsored by Adidas. Adidas, we only wear Adidas. But if you were, if Adidas was to up that sponsorship and give everybody their own codes to wear, like, you already know their parents are going to want gear, their family, friends, everybody's going to want gear. So you should capitalize on that and give everybody their own code so they can buy their stuff, like, online through a catalog and then boom you're making money no matter what and the kids are still making money off of themselves too so it's like a win-win all those student athletes will now be able to accept money from businesses colleges and universities are still prohibited to pay them i'm matthew pittman georgetown news